Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we have to start the authentication part. We have to make the uh, user login controller and admin uh, login controller. We have selected, okay, along with the registration form. We have to make it as successfully the things are working on. Now let's continue from here. Now what you're going to do is, let's go to the documentation here. I'm going to make the middle way up. I'm going to cover up the middle way up. Okay, so middle way up first we have write it out in the middle way up. Uh, what's the middle way up, which, which is nothing but uh, uh, when you are, uh, if it is a route, when you go to the login, you have to write as the uh, route. Route means that you write like this, slash login. Login. If you write the login, it goes to the login page. Login route, it's called the controller. In between the controller, you write here. Imagine here, you can see here. Route controller. Okay, so we have to give the route which will be uh, tell that tell that the controller to access the particular URL. The controller will be uh, always listening the uh, request from the route which request is coming the upon the request from the route controller get the get the data into the database via the model and get the data right after that send the get the response the uh, request from the route send the response okay so in between routes and controller they have they have is the middle way in between the controller and routes there is a, another layer called which is a middleware so we can't when the request is coming login if you write it's login or when anything else when you add the record also anything else it will be cannot add direct to the control it cannot directly communicate the controller first we have to get the permission from the middleware if the middleware permission is accepted this middleware permission is accepted only it will be communicate with the controller if it is not accepted it, it won't communicate with the controller okay there is a middleware you must understand what the middleware middle is is the security part we have to implement the middleware is every system need to be a security so we are in, in e-commerce e website is more secure because they, uh, we have communicate with the payments and to your client data and our product is everything okay so that we have most secure security have given it given here so that we need a middleware part Okay, the middle layer part we miss, you must consider about the middle layer part right so first we have we have to first you have to and uh, how to insert the middle layer so you have to write over here copy this say admin middle layer how to insert here you can see the middle layer middle layer create the middle layer to the role so here the here right php artisan make middle layer admin middle layer second middle layer i'm going to install it this guy is copied so you have to install it right right second one Use a middleware. This way it will be installing. Default if you are right, give the command. You go to the HTTP controller. Okay. So here you can see here there is a folder has been created middleware. Inside the middleware folder, we have a two middleware has been created. Admin middleware and user middleware. Here you have to give the permission. Go to work here. You have to update the middleware part. Okay, so you have I, I already explained where your middleware is created. Okay, it is a app HTTP uh, app HTTP uh, middleware admin middleware. So, here this is the middleware I created. Okay, so what I'm going to do is yeah, I'm going to implement that. Implement that. So, this one you have to copy this, it's a middleware for. Uh, admin part this is the middleware for your user part so i will be i will implement the middleware for first one i'm going to implement the user part okay so here this is user function already the function is created over here you can see here okay so only the things we have tried implemented over here i'll be explained don't worry user okay first you have to check that with the user of admin right user you can see here there is auth if I put auth, uh, auth mean it is a username and password. This is a default function of the Laravel auth. 
okay right it's a check and user role if it is a user it's called for the if the user if the username and password is checking first one when you are logging the when you get yeah, the how the flow is working so imagine here user middleware so here first one check the username and password if the username and password is, uh, correct after that it will be uh, uh, it will be check the role as right so we have put the and of and operation okay so what is and operation mean we have to check both that the username and password need to be correct and we have a role must be correct okay if, if, if the one condition is fails it won't execute it if the username and password is correct and role is not correct it won't execute it but we if, if, if it is both correct it will be it will be access it's accessible to the login functionality otherwise it redirect to the login form it redirect to the login form okay that's the thing you have to do the security okay if it is all the things are correct it will be redirect to the where the controller of the login controller it will be accessing the rest of the things okay right you have to check both first you have to check the username and password then other hand you have to check with the row okay this both should be correct it will be working okay right after that we have another one for the admin part that's also the admin role copy this functionality for the admin role in admin middleware we have paste it paste on it the same thing check the admin username and password correct and other hand it will be checked the role which is admin it should be the admin first first time it check the username and password should be correct other hand it it, it need to be checked the admin role if the role is admin or not if both are correct only it will be redirect to the page otherwise it redirect to the login page right okay the what is the purpose of admin and operators both condition need to be true then only it will be uh, redirect to the respective view otherwise it redirect to the page your login page anything else you can tell that where it, it need to be redirected if the login and username and password or anything it's incorrect right that's the thing you have tried okay right after that so all things are correct so all are implemented right another thing we have to do the here I, the, if you are go my blog here tutors funny implement here you, you can go my blog here you can see we go to my blog here the second here you can go here this, here i have a, this one click on this implementation here you will be everything is there step by step how to implement the authentication okay so this one is custom i am not implementing the just just stream uh, line we are all, uh, in a share all, like that this is a custom one right so that you have to simply you have to configure this project right so here after that user middleware we are completed now this is the model the role we have already done for this part so here in our last video tutorial we have to implement this role to create the role after that register the middleware part first thing you have to be going to finally you have to register the middleware part Okay, the middleware part. The middleware part we have registered. So where where we we are we are going to register inside the app folder Bootstrap app. Inside the app folder, there's a Bootstrap folder. Here app. Here we are. We have to register here this one. Okay, here we have to register. We have middleware here. This middleware we have to register here. We already have created the middleware, but we have to register. Then only it will be coming 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 as a page so you have to register this you have the same thing you no need to write it you just copy and paste it here you have to clearly mention this one this one we have to cook it stuff i am i'm going to explain later on so at the moment i just uh here we have to uncommon it okay so here this is it right now you have to okay okay we have first one you have a admin role it will be admin middleware it reside on where you have to do the path so admin middleware I mean, here the middleware we have registered then only it will be uh, working if you are not registered it, it won't work okay the uh, the oldest version there should be the kernel file where you are going to register the middleware 
So the new version, they have to be the bootstrap folder, bootstrap inside the bootstrap folder, there is an app folder, where you are going to register the uh, middleware. So the, the it will be uh, depend on the version, you have to implement the middleware. If it is the lowest version, you have to implement the kernel file. Uh, if the newest version like the level 10 and 11, they are, the documentation is set, you have to implement the middleware into the bootstrap folder inside the bootstrap file there has to be the file which is a app file you have to implement the middleware on that okay on that there is a function which is a with middleware the inside that function you have to implement the middleware okay so you have to write the allies is a predefined keyword so in, in between the bracket you have to implement this one first you have to tell them the path where your middleware you have created so you have to write the admin middleware you have created Inside the app folder, HTTP folder, inside that HTTP folder, there should be the middleware folder. Inside the middleware folder, I have to implement the admin middleware as well as the user middleware. You have to call as user. Right? You have to understand the things. That. This is very must when you are implementing the security, the sec user security of the system. Right? Let's go there. Let's forward. All right. Now you are going to implement the view as a admin and user view. That is very much just an admin and user view. We have to implement that. Okay. So here, now here we have view. We have to create a separate layout file for the admin part and login part. So here, uh, so what I'm going to do is we already create the layout file over here. This layout file we have uh, we have designed for the dashboard. This all the things are dashboard for the login. Login we have a login. We 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 cannot use this one because it's a dashboard layout blade. So what I'm going to see here, I'm going to uh, if you want, you can write it here. The resources you have to create a new file. Login layout dot blade. Dot PHP. This is the template file. You have to get a separate template file. Then you have to have simple. So this template file. So here we have to write it here. Hold on the shift key down and press one. Click on this to implement the HTML standard. You have to add the bootstrap file. Bootstrap. Uh, bootstrap. You have to add the bootstrap. Bootstrap. You you know how to add the bootstrap style. Go to the respective website. Bootstrap. Bootstrap. Implement the bootstrap style. Click on the respective one. The style copy simple copy this implementing inside the attack you have to paste them after the what i'm going to do this uh we have to go along with the documentation that is must this all things are correct uh implement the bootstrap heal content the heal content i already explained what this is the uh, content should be changed after we have a uh, two modules uh admin user and uh, ordinary user and admin user okay so it will be displayed upon the user okay so here there's a template file login template file okay so you have a file that's the thing you have to do it right now i'm going to create the view section first view section i'm going to put it one for the admin another view section i'm going to put it one there user and two section i have to create the login and uh, pages like it okay right so here inside the admin you have to create the two pages create dot page dot php uh, so, so you have to create the two pages first page first folder admin folder i'm going to create two pages first create dot blade dot php which is for registration the registering the admin user second one is a after register we have to log in the that user so we have to create another file which is the login user right the same thing as we have a login as well you have to create the create dot blade dot php this is a create the new user second file i'm going to create as uh login dot blade.php for the logging the user credential of the user right perfect 
I hope you guys you understood so far well. I I will be continue the tutorial in my next video tutorial. Thank you for watching.